In mathematics, the domain of a function refers to the set of all possible numbers that you can use as inputs or x values in the function. For example, if your function is f of x equals 2x plus 3, then the domain is any number that you can use in place of x. In this example, and with many other functions, the domain includes all real numbers. However, there are special cases where the domain will be more limited. For instance, if the function includes a fraction with a variable in the denominator, you'll need to exclude any numbers from your domain that would result in the denominator of the fraction being equal to zero. To figure this out, set the denominator as an equation equal to zero and solve for x. Let's say you have a function, f of x equals 2x over x squared minus 4. Start by writing out x squared minus 4 equals 0. Factor the expression to get x minus 2 times x plus 2 equals 0. When you solve for 0, you'll get two possible inputs, 2 and negative 2. This means you must exclude 2 and negative 2 from the domain. Define the domain as x equals all real numbers except for 2 and negative 2. You could also write it as d equals negative infinity minus 2, u, 2, infinity. Functions that include natural logs and square roots also require special care when defining the domain. For instance, if the variable is under a square root, you must exclude any values that would result in a negative number under the root sign. The same goes for functions with a natural log. For example, if your function is either f of x equals log natural times x minus 8, or f of x equals the square root of x minus 8, you'd define the domain as any real number greater than or equal to 8. Another way to write this out is d equals 8 infinity. In many cases, you can also define the domain of a function by looking at a graph. Look at which values are represented or excluded on the x-axis to help you find the domain. For example, if you're looking at a graph of a line or a parabola, the domain would be all real numbers since the graph continues infinitely in both directions. On the other hand, a function with a vertical asymptote at x equals 3 would have a domain of all real numbers except for 3.